Good morning again. In this new session, we are going to move into a new lesson, which is about the oxygen carbon cycle. Oxygen carbon cycle means the gain and loss of these two elements. Let's start first reading this text, and then we are going to identify or indicate the meaning of each new term and move to the activity. Let's read. Both O2 oxygen and CO2 carbon dioxide are two gases found in the Earth's atmosphere. In the Earth's atmosphere, it means in the air. They are released in the air. Also, for example, carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide is about its percentage about 0.01% and the oxygen amount in the atmosphere is about 18 to 20% in the Earth's atmosphere. So, these two gases are very essential or important or necessary, okay? They are so essential in our life because they they are the two gases that exchange during two processes by green plants and other living things. For example, during photosynthesis, during photosynthesis, green plants need or require carbon dioxide. They absorb it and release the oxygen that is needed by other living things during the respiration process. So, I have here two processes, photosynthesis and respiration. As we know, during photosynthesis, only green plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, while during respiration, all living things, not only green plants, use oxygen and release carbon dioxide which is needed by green plants so respire here means the breathe and the aim or role of respiration is to survive to stay alive okay so what are these cycles that maintain oxygen and carbon imbalance in nature what are they they are the carbon cycle and oxygen cycle. Let's start with activity one about the carbon cycle. Before I continue, I have to ask now, please, Karim. Karim, what is yeah. produced? Okay, Karim, what is produced from the factory? Carbon dioxide. Excellent. Carbon dioxide is released, Julia. Carbon dioxide is released because smoke is released out of this factory. Julia, is this carbon dioxide good? Is carbon dioxide good or bad for the environment? Good or bad? Bad. Of course it's bad because it pollutes the atmosphere or it pollutes the air. Who can give me by using this figure where carbon dioxide or where does carbon dioxide come from? Where does carbon dioxide come from? Okay, Sarham, from where? From the smoke. From the smoke of cars and factories. Excellent. Tia, where also carbon dioxide comes from? In the, the in the what? Factory emission. Excellent factory emission. Also, Julia, where does carbon dioxide come from? Excellent, Julia, from the smoke chimney. From the fossil fuels. Excellent, from the fossil fuels. Also, thanks, teacher, a lot. Also, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide can be produced by the plant, sorry, can be released during the plant respiration. When green plants respire, they release CO2. While 
the decay organism, the fossil fuels, the dead organisms, they all, all these produce CO2. So carbon dioxide is produced by dead organism and the products, organic compound, decay organisms and fossil fuels. All these are the factors or elements that can produce carbon dioxide. While the plant respiration or animal respiration, carbon dioxide is released here. So here the carbon dioxide is released during respiration. So in this carbon cycle I have three phenomena or process three processes take place first one combustion combustion means the burning of gas combustion or burning of gas this is the first process the second one is the respiration which takes place in animals and the plants the third one is photosynthesis while the second one is called respiration so this carbon cycle shows three processes the first one is the combustion or burning burning of what maybe fossil fuels uh, smoke or release of uh, yeah, car exhausts second one is respiration which is done by all living things and the third one which is the photosynthesis which takes place only in green plants so now we have to move into next page to the next page to complete the following table i have the process done in the above cycle we have mentioned three processes combustion which is burning respiration and photosynthesis which gas is absorbed and which gas is released the first part is fire noor okay teacher so fire which process does it belong combustion combustion excellent thanks a lot mute yourself again so the first one belongs to the combustion process not photosynthesis or respiration during combustion what is absorbed what is absorbed amal what does it say oxygen excellent what is released carbon dioxide thanks a lot teacher excellent teacher thanks a lot mute yourself again so the gas absorbed is o2 while the gas release is CO2. Now, let's move to the car. Also, the car exhausts, which produce smoke. The car exhaust produces smoke. Ali, so the car, which process is done here? Com combustion. Combustion. And during combustion, Ali, which gas is absorbed? Oxygen, the carbon Very excellent, teacher. Thanks a lot. Mute yourself again. Mute yourself again. Now, let's move to another student. Okay, Dilbani, what can animal do? Which process? Respiration. Thanks, Dilbani. Respiration. And during respiration, what do animals breathe or take? O2. Excellent, O2. And release? CO2. CO2. Thanks a lot, teacher. Let's move now. Okay, Rama, now humans. What are the processes that is done in humans? Inspiration. Of course, respiration. Thanks a lot, teacher. And during respiration, what is absorbed? O2. O2. What is released? CO2. CO2. Thanks a lot, Rama. Mute yourself again, teacher. Thanks a lot. Okay, then. What process is done in green plants? Photosynthesis. Excellent, 
teacher photosynthesis sorry photosynthesis takes place in green plants what is absorbed in photosynthesis O2 yes CO2 is absorbed in photosynthesis yes release gas release O2 excellent teacher thanks a lot thanks a lot so in the carbon cycle I conclude that three processes can be done three processes can be done please I want to ask some students to mention these three processes what are these three processes that we explain them now Celine can you name a process that we explain now Please repeat them. Combustion. Combustion. Excellent, Celine. Thanks. Allow teacher mute yourself again. So, combustion, respiration, and photosynthesis are the three processes that take place in the carbon cycle. But combustion, which is burning. We said before that burning of fossil fuels or burning of gases takes place in non-living things. The combustion process takes place in non-living things while respiration takes place in all living things and photosynthesis takes place only in green plants. That's all about the carbon cycle for today. Thanks a lot.